Fran, go ahead and unmute, Fran. It's your turn. You have the floor. Oh, hello. How are you? Um, I think that I feel like we got a little bit off topic. I don't know. We did. Can you that's why I had to bring yeah, so the topic, like I just said, we yeah, are talking I... about we are talking about women that they find men physically attractive. Um, um, but you know, and they want to sleep with these men, <clears throat> and these men want to sleep with them, so they have the opportunity to sleep with these men. But before mm -hmm. they sleep with these men, they are, you know, they either want some money, they want materialistic items that they deem to be valuable, they want to be taken out on a trip. They want a bill paid. So they want this. There's women like this that, you know, they have these requirements before they sleep with this man. And there are women that are expecting some of these things after they sleep with the man. So we have Miss Demetria in here. She's the one that said, um, she said that when women open up their legs, she said that um, there's a lot of women that are expecting more out of men after they open their legs. So I asked her, I said, well, if, we're not in a committed exclusive relationship and you're opening up your, you're opening up your legs. The man is giving you pipe. Is it okay for the man to ask you um, for money in return? Is it okay for the man to ask you to get his bills paid? And she said, personally, she does not see anything wrong with that. So I want to know, you know, how the woman feel about her stance. And I want to just know how, you know, you guys feel about the woman that, have these certain requirements or are moving this certain way in general so that's what we're talking about yeah okay, that's fair um so firstly i think i hate the term opening their legs i think it's incredibly derogative to women at the end of the day and i think it really just disregards the entire concept of a relationship whether that be dating or marriage i think it completely degrades it it's a horrible time to use in my opinion people can disagree that's completely fine Aside from that, I think that historically, I mean, we can literally go to hunter-gatherer, right? Like, the man tends to bring home, in that scenario, right, like, the meat, which is, like, the main source of the meal, no? Yeah. Right. So, and I think that historically, men have been providers, correct? Correct. So, I think that it's not shocking that people want men to be providers, or do you think that it is shocking? You said, you said, you said, sorry, what'd you say? I said, I don't think it's shocking that that historical context has been brought forward to the 21st century. Oh, no, not, no, not surprising, not shocking at all. Right. And I think that to assume that once you have a closer relationship, I don't want to like get you banned, so I'm not going to say the word, with someone it's shocking that someone would expect someone to either expect more from them or like blah, blah, blah when it comes to like that engagement. But I also think it's shocking that people degrade it so much. Like the P word, which I, I really don't want to get you banned. So I'm not going to say these words, but the P word has been around for since the beginning of time, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, it's clearly something people want i mean for god's sakes when is the pandemic and of just popped off like I right. think that's volumes on what clearly people are driving a market for right but i do not think that someone getting more intimate with someone is equate is like equitable to the p word i really i really don't and i don't i think i don't know it like i saw a video on the other day and it was like a man yelling at a woman basically being like well i flew you out and now you don't want to sleep with me like you're leaving and like i feel like that's the scenario you perhaps was like thinking of but i feel like for the majority of people when you're dating and you're more adult and you have a career which i'm fully aware that you do you go on a date with someone that does that doesn't mean that they're they're allowed to be in your presence excessively it doesn't mean they're allowed in your home it doesn't mean that they're allowed to be in your right. bed Right. It just that you went on a date. Simple right. Act, point blank. Right. To say that, however, if they do end up getting more intimate, that it's like, well, you're a P word. Like, what? Like, that That makes no sense. No, no, friend, friend. This is what I'm saying. They would expect more. Well, like, that's historically accurate. No, like, women have always expected more because they were taught 
historically that like yes if you engage in that manner a man should be providing such and such uh, for example housing or like rent or like whatever else like that's just historical we didn't put that in place we couldn't even hold goddamn credit cards until the late 70s so like we didn't put that position in place so friend this so you might so friend this this is the situation the situation is these two people are dating okay so they're not in a committed exclusive relationship with each other she has her own place where she stays he has her own place where he's he has his own place where he stays she maintains her lifestyle he maintains his lifestyle but they are dating, right? So they they may go out to eat every now and then. You know, um, they may go out to get drinks every now and then. They go to restaurants, right? They, you know, they go out to eat, but they're sleeping with each other. So mm-hmm. they're sleeping with each other. They're just sleeping with each other, though. They're not in a relationship, but they are sleeping with each other. The thing, what we're talking about here, friend, is thank you for the gift, villain. What we're talking about here is the woman that, you know, so friend, you see a guy out wherever you see a guy out, you know, in uh, Times Square and you find him to be you genuinely find him to be physically attractive and he finds you to be physically attractive. And in your head, you would sleep with that man if you had the opportunity to sleep with that man. And that man expresses interest in you. Right. Again, y'all are dating. Y'all are in a relationship. Y'all have Y'all have been sleeping with each other, but, you know, y'all just living your own life. Y'all just link up whenever you guys link up. What we're talking about here is the, the the woman that before they sleep with that man, they are requiring certain things. Like, again, whether they want money before they sleep with him, whether they want materialistic items that they deem to be valuable, whether they want to be taken out on a trip, they want a bill to be paid. They want something of monetary value before they sleep with him. And we're also talking about the women that after they sleep with that man, again, they're not in a relationship with each other. They've always been sleeping with each other. But now all of a sudden she wants her bills to be paid. She's asking him for money and things of that nature. Again, friend, they are not in a committed exclusive relationship with each other. Is, okay. is, is, it, is it giving broke bitch to you? And is it do you see that in the same light as escorting or prostitution? I, I, I don't see it in, in, in the same manner as EOP, but that said, I also think, again, historically, yeah, if, if someone wants to um, be more intimately involved with one another, right, like, it usually comes with a a, a price point. That's not, that's not saying, like, oh, you have to do this, this, and this, and I think asking for cash explicitly is incredibly crass. Like, I think that's really gross. Um especially when it comes to bills and things i'm very much like like as we've spoken on this like right. i'm then like i would never god knows i would never do that but i don't think that people should be shocked by it just because i wouldn't do it i don't think people should be shocked by it because i mean it's it's historically true that 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 was exactly what it was and i think when we all grow up i don't know about your dad but i think a lot of dads are like okay well if he doesn't pay for your dinner leave if he doesn't do this like open the door for you or whatever else leave like we're set with certain standards and i think that's very much based on raising i don't know how you're like what did your dad say to your siblings about um dates with regard to like paying for meals and and opening doors and stuff what did he say yeah my dad my dad definitely you know my dad definitely taught you know my dad and my mom you know taught my sisters about chivalry if that's the word that you want to use and friend, I, I'm not, I'm not saying you said, I, you said, I don't, you don't think it should be like shocking or surprising, but it's like, friend, if, if, if that's, if that's what the dynamics of the relationship is, friend, again, they are not in a committed exclusive relationship with each other. They but just that- link up. They just link up whenever they link up and they do whatever it is that they do. Me personally, friend, I only feel in the event of life happening right so something happened and that person is in that person is really in need of help that you could really assist them right now then i think that would be an appropriate time to ask for money or you know whatever it is that you may need but if it's if that's not the case i don't think i don't think either side should be asking the other person for anything like this relationship is what it is it's been what it's been don't try to change the dynamics of the relationship now. That's how I personally feel. 
as I said, I think asking for money is incredibly crass. But as um, my life, sorry, I'm trying to read it out loud. My life shall be amazing. Just said it's not about commitment. It's about reaching out when someone, when a need is presented. That's what she said. And I think that when you're seeing someone, I mean, in my opinion, I don't think you should be intimately involved before you're committed. But I know that times have changed. People have different opinions. Like people get involved earlier, and that's fine. Right. But I think if you are willing to be involved with someone in such an intimate way, whether it be the man or the woman, you should be willing to be present when they perhaps call you, etc. And like that's just my opinion. And I know that everyone has different views on that. No, friend, friend. I listen. I I, I agree with you on that, friend. I think where we're disagreeing is when it's appropriate. Like I, like I said, yeah. I personally only feel in the time of emergency is it appropriate. Like I was telling Mr. Misha, friend, we could be, right. we could be, we could be, we could be fucking five days out out of the week. We could be fucking five days out of the week, but we are not in a relationship with each other. So being that we are not in a relationship with each other, we have no ties. We are not obligated to each other. So okay, with that you- being said, I'm not going to ask you for anything, and. I don't. I just don't think that unless you are very much in need and life happens, I don't feel like the woman should be asking a man for anything. That's just okay. how I personally feel. I think the the misalignment also falls where I think that if you're that intimately involved, I think you're already tied. Like I think you already have such an involvement to the point where you are in some manner committed, whether you're willing to take on that label, whether you're a commitment phobe, whatever it may be, if you're at that level where you're that intimately involved, you're committed at some level. Like, you already engaged in that physical act, and that's emotional also. And I think that at that point, like, if you're willing to, like, just pretend like y'all have nothing in common or you're not really seeing each other, I think that's, like, a bit... And I'm Gen Z. I think it's very Gen Z to, like, do that. Like, oh, like, nothing's really important. We're just sleeping with each other. Like, what? When did that become so insignificant to the point where we're like, well, I have nothing to do with you. We just sleep together. Like, that's mad. Like, that's insane. My I know friend. You- that's my friend. Not to cut you off, friend, but that's... People have real legitimate relationships <laughs> like that. Friend, you know that. More- friend, that way people have real legitimate relationships. We... We're not listen, if if uh if an event is going on, you're not calling that person to go to the event with you, they're not going to the cookouts, they're definitely not meeting your family. This is what you know, some people like to refer to it as quote unquote committed. fuck buddies, if you will, but people have real legitimate relationships like that where they only sleep with each other. They have no, no other obligations, they have no nothing else going on. No, I know, but like it doesn't mean that you're not committed, like you are committed in a way, whether you've been trying to your- Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, you can speak. But if I, no, I, I was, was oh, like commit it. Sorry, you go ahead. No, I'm really sorry. If you want to finish, you can go ahead. I'm really sorry. I- okay. Well, what I was gonna say is I've personally been in a situation where I was messing with somebody and like but my thing was is like obviously I'm not com- just because I'm sleeping with you doesn't mean that we are committed like that's just how I saw it so I didn't feel the need to ask that person for anything I honestly um I think one we need to stop equating with I think we need to stop referring to um any type of sex work as broke bitch energy I think that's just really harmful in general I don't think any type of sex work should be referred to as that that's that's shaming um, but second of all, no, if you are straight up asking for cash before having sex, then that's definitely prostitution. That's just by definition of it. But I definitely don't think you owe each other anything if you guys are not in a committed relationship. And I don't think sex is a commitment, to be quite honest. That's all I have to say. But let me let me respond to what she said real quick, friend. So so is. I'm personally, I'm not personally saying that sex work is broke bitch behavior. I, I respect people how on however they get their money. I respect the women that have business cards and are on websites and are standing outside and being upfront about what it is that they're selling to a man. I do not respect, I don't, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, I do not respect when a woman is. It's, um, oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say, ahead. you can just call me Saj. Okay. Saj. I don't respect when a woman is um, presenting herself to be something that she's really not 
or, you know, trying to come off and make the situation seem like it's something that it really isn't. So my thing, my whole thing, Saj, is as a woman, if if you're going to find a man, if you're going to be genuinely physically attracted to a man and you want to sleep with him and you would sleep with him, but you have you have these you have these other things that you feel that you need to get before it happens. I think you are on. I think that is very much prostitution behavior. Okay, if you but- sleep with that man and after the fact, now you want to be asking him for stuff and you want to be you want like certain things. I think that is giving escort behavior. And I think that is giving broke bitch behavior. I'm not saying that sex workers are broke bitches or, or have broke bitch behavior. But I do honestly believe that what I just described to you, I believe that that is broke bitch behavior and I but, don't approve of it. No, but it's confusing because first of all, if you are a sex worker, which is a legitimate job, which I had to struggle with comprehending, but I can now see why it is to a lot of women because ultimately there's a market for it. It's an, it's clearly in demand or so it wouldn't still exist, right? Um you set a price prior which is also why i didn't appreciate the whole like you should tell them on your price because at the end of the day when a lot of men are wanting it they don't tell them they don't tell women or men or whomever they want to engage with they don't tell them their price prior either like but when you do work in that field yes it is clearly an necessity. same way that in consultants they set a price before they do the work for you like right. it's common known thing so it's i don't even want to hear about after the fact but what i don't comprehend is why you don't get that like yeah obviously men and women and men and men and women and women and so on and so forth obviously expect a vice versa relationship in their partnerships that's been historical like it's very obvious and i don't think it's it needs to be an issue but i do think it's weird that like we're not comprehending that when you do engage in certain acts obviously you have a tie to that person in some manner like when you sleep with someone you don't just sleep with them and leave and then you just forget about them wholly right like you you don't suddenly have a brain hemorrhage and then you just like forget about them you know who that person is and you know what you engaged in that you already have a connection with them in that manner that's why it can be controversial because ultimately the hormones released yeah, you have a connection to them. You literally do. It's scientifically proven. But, like, to, to pretend that, like, it's abnormal for people to expect a vice versa, whichever manner that suits them, is, like, what's really confusing me. So, friend, so, friend, I just want to be clear. So, you you see, like Mr. Demetria, you see if, if that's the case, if two people are consistently sleeping with each other and they're not in a committed, exclusive relationship with each other, you would see nothing wrong with a man reaching out to that woman and either asking her for money or asking her to pay um, some of his bills. You wouldn't see anything wrong with that, correct? That's not what I said. You just said vice versa. Because so if you're, cause you're telling me right now, you're telling me right now that you're not understanding how I'm not seeing how that could be expected, how a woman could expect that. But how could you not how could you not see how a man could expect that either then? What I'm saying is when I say vice versa, I mean you've already established what you expect from one another. So if in that relationship, like they expect one another to pay each other's bills, whether that be a committed relationship or they're consistently sleeping with each other, they've established that. In my opinion, would I do that? Would I pay a man's bills? Absolutely not. But like if they've established that, good for them. they can do that. But like that's up to them, but that's that that should already be established. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, stop pretending that like it's not already an existing thing. If you're already like consistently sleeping with one another, like clearly something's going on. So then, yeah, if you've established that, sure, he can mm-hmm. call her up and be like, "Hey, my Verizon bill came in," or like, "Hey, my like Con Ed bill came in," whatever. But like, that would that would have already been established. No. No. Eat someone. You usually express what you want out of. What friend, I- friend, this, this, see, this, this is where I think like just men and women differ. And you know what? Hey, all of y'all can unmute, and we can just have a discussion now. Um, I this is where I think men and women differ. Like I said, That's I don't think I don't think men are. I don't. Men are not going into this, even thinking about most men, unless you're dealing with a broke man. 
most men are not going into in uh, a situation like this, like after the fact, like all oh, you know, and it, I'm I, I'm gonna ask her for some money or I'm gonna ask her to like but, so pay I... my bills. No matter, no matter. Like I said, we could be sleeping with each other five out of seven days out of the week. Man, but... most men are not having. Most men are cool with the with the physical act and going on with their life. Most men is not out here like having having a mindset that oh, okay. Because we're doing this, despite the fact that we're not in a committed relationship with each other, I can still ask her for such as like, I'm not ever going to ask a woman that I'm not in a relationship. Friend, I'm never going to ask you for no money. I'm never going to ask you to pay my bills. I'm not going to ask Ms. Demetria or Saj anything of the sort. Like, we're not in a, we're not committed to each other like that. That's because of how you're raised. In my opinion, I think that's... That's how society's raised. Sorry, you go ahead. No, I was just saying that's how society is. The man's not supposed to. It's not that he he, he outside of the house. Regardless, society's going to make you believe a man is not supposed to do this. Mm-hmm. Your your problem is you don't see where if if what you're saying is true, and we switch and say, okay, well then you're right. You know what? Women should ask men, and men should be able to ask women. There's the problem right there. So that's been, the problem. Yeah, See, soon as you start, soon as you start saying, "Okay, let us do that," what y'all doing? There's the problem. That's my point, and that's what you get. That's been yeah, that's been- yeah, because that's why you arguing with him because he turned right around and said, "Okay, so you okay with men doing this?" No, 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 no. Hold on, that's not what I'm saying. That is what you just said.